I got to nothing. I wasn't paying attention. Wh whatever. I don't see anything useful. Okay. I can't get onto the mountain without the bracelet. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just give me my item. He didn't give me my item. Okay. Now, believe it or not, I can enter the dark world. And I'm probably gonna have to do that because I have the magic cave. There's one more chest I can get to without doing that, though. Once I do get to the Dark World, uh, it's going to be very interesting because there's actually not much I can do without the hammer. Like, the hammer is the next big I need it. Or the hookshot. The hookshot would also let me explore a lot. Oh yeah, I have the ocarina. I, I gotta get the... You know what? Fuck you. I said, fuck you. That means... I want to start the sanctuary. The ocarina is going... Oh, wait. The ocarina. That allows me to get to the mountains. There is still plenty I can do. I can't get everything on the mountains, but... It actually does open up a lot... And it is something that, yes, is very useful to me in the moment. Oh, this theme is just so beautiful. I can't believe I almost forgot this. I am, because of this, I am glad that I went into Dungeon 1. Not just because you needed to get into Dungeon 6, but... And that is a, a a duck. If you don't know, in my reviewing career, I've had problems with ducks. They are almost universally evil. But I don't know. This duck is okay. Makes it possible to beat the game. I can't be too mad at him. Okay, the one chest we can get here. Then there are a couple of things we can get on the mountain. Not everything. At least, not without the hammer. Actually, no, I think we, we can get everything. Like, my knowledge isn't 100%, uh... 100% in every single situation. Going to the mountains as unequipped as I am is a very unusual situation. But it is a situation nonetheless. Sorry about that, I had to get something to drink because I'm getting thirsty. Maybe just because I'm in a desert. Let's get out of here. Alright, the mountains. <laughs> I'm up here without the power bracelet. I'm naughty. I don't know, there's just something so satisfying about s sequence breaking. I don't know, it might be one of the reasons why this Zelda's one of my favorites. Like, sequence breaking became kind of a... not a thing after this. Like, in Ocarina of Time, for instance, the only time you could sequence break is do the Water Temple before you do the Fire Temple. And considering the Water Temple, why the fuck would you? Actually, I, th I think the Water Temple is a little bit overhated. It it's, it's not that difficult. But maybe it's just the way my mind works and how easily I can see in three dimensions. But, uh, we're not playing that game. But yeah, one thing I would do in a lot of Zelda games is get the dungeon item and get out of the dungeon, go on to the next one, and so on. Uh, as a kid, I think it's because I had a lot of issues facing bosses. I don't know, bosses were always my weakness, the parts of the game I found hardest. 
even simple games like Super Mario RPG. I don't know why. Maybe then again, then again, bosses are technically some of the hardest parts of the game. In most circum, it's definitely the hardest parts of this game. This Zelda game doesn't have any bullshit stealth sections, which is <laughs> a Zelda trend that I'd like to go away. <sighs> like, I haven't played Breath of the Wild, but I hear that it has another section where you sneak into the Gerudo Forest Fortress or Gerudo area. You know, like all of the Zelda games after this one. Even though I don't think anybody likes them, like they're always the worst part of the game, the stealth sections. There are definitely some Zelda tropes where I, I'm scratching my head to how the hell have they survived forever. Like, uh, beeping hearts. Like, this ROM, this version of the ROM has an option where you can turn off heart beeping. Which I did, because why the hell would I turn it on if I had the option to turn it off? There's not a situation where you don't realize you're close to death. All Zelda games should have an option to turn off heart beeping. Also, Dark World themes are awesome. Even this one. I think this mountainous one is uh, pretty underrated. I kind of like it more than the uh, general Dark World theme. Also, this looks like pancakes with syrup running down it on butter on top of it. Uh, yeah. Then again, the mountains in Zelda always tend to make me think of food, because the falling rocks to me, they always look like donut holes, you know, munchins. Is that just me? Do I need the hammer to get through here? Yes, I do. Okay. Damn it! The fucking hammer! Well, while we're here... I mean, like... I can complete this dungeon, and... Uh, there's no reason not to. I mean, it might give me another ocarina. Metaphorically speaking, of course, I don't... I don't think it can give me the same item twice. Unless your, uh... Unless your ROM... Unless your emulator saves the data, and you... I'm confused. I'm not a big fan of the Light World dungeons in this game. Uh, they're... They're very straightforward. They're, they're very easy. Oh yes, and, and they have tiles. Two out of three of them have these annoying fucking tile things. Like, I hate these not because they're hard to avoid, they're, they're actually too easy to avoid. Uh, they just grind the game to a fucking halt. Okay, I, I want to move on, but let me move on. At least in the desert palace I can use a key to get out of this room quickly. One of the stupidest ideas ever. There's no reason I should be in a room this long. See, they could be like this enemy. Just give them a spin attack and they're dead. Always. Okay, to get further in here, you tend to need this. Remember, in this version of the game, we need to get all of the chests, not just the mandatory ones. Uh, okay. Like, I know I have one heart. Like, I, I realize that. Wouldn't this be annoying with beeping? Wouldn't beeping just make this part of the experience so much better? Even though I have a fairy, and I'm not tempted to just release it to end the fucking misery? Nah. Alright. Uh, 
come on. Come on. Okay. Hee hee hee, you can't stop me. I'm gonna go fight Maldorm. Yeah. What you gonna do about it? Let's see, do I have... Okay. I think there's... Actually, I think there's only one extraneous chest in here. Well, technically two if we include the boss. Ow! What the fuck? Die! And... Also, I, I do think that Moldorm is kind of overhated. Yeah, you fall down a lot, but it, it's not a, a much of a pain as most people say. Uh... You know, unless you fall in the hole in the center and you fall down two floors, that that that's pretty annoying. I mean, I don't like him enough for him to have come back in Link's Awakening, but... Twice. But, uh, I don't... Well, I, I do get the hate, I, I just don't have as much of a problem with him. I, I'm not bragging or anything, I just... Trust me, I have challenges in video games that most people don't. Like, there are things that do trip me up too. Things that I find annoying as all hell. Like for me, it instead of water levels, it tends to be ice levels. I really fucking hate almost all ice levels that I've ever come across. And I tend to hate stealth missions. Okay, this guy. Uh, don't have any useful items, so... Okay, always keep your sword charged. That, that That's lesson number one for this boss. Trust me. Yeah, I, I don't understand why they keep bringing this guy back. Like, if you're holding your sword, it's much harder for him to push you off the edge. Very harder. You just gotta press down hard in the opposite direction that he pushes you. See? You know, in uh, in a link between worlds, but for some reason, he does get you occasionally. But in a link between worlds, for some reason, they make him look like a, a burger, like. I, I'm, I, I can't not see it, but in A Link Between Worlds, he, he, he looks like a lettuce burger, or a burger with lettuce. I'm trying to get more hearts because I'm actually kind of in a bad position right now. To do that, we just gotta do this. Yeah, the Light World Dungeons are very straightforward, just... With... Oh, I, I guess they're definitely training for the rest of the game and how their dungeons line up. One's kind of a maze, this one's a gauntlet, and uh, the desert palace is uh, kind of an open area. Okay. Let's get back to it. Charge up your sword. Walk towards me. Charge up your sword. And whatever you do, don't stand on the other side. You, like, want to stand here. That's very important. And he's dead. Only fell down once. Shouldn't have even done that, but whatever. Yay! Honestly, at this stage in the game, <laughs> the level 1 bracelet is almost useless to me. Uh, I, I'd much prefer to have the level 2 bracelet. Like, where can't I go? Where can't I go without the level 1 bracelet? I got to Zoro's Domain, and I got onto the mountains. I can't even get into the Desert Palace. So, you know what that means. That means we fight the, uh, a Ganon. 